If you are planning to breastfeed, you may be thinking about purchasing a breast pump. When choosing a breast pump, consider how often you will need to pump. Will you be returning to work full-time, traveling, or just occasionally away from your baby? A Medela breast pump will help you provide what's best for your baby, even when you're not there. I'm a working mom and I use my Medela pump and sale breast pump every day. I take it to work with me and it's so convenient. I'm able to take it along with me. I travel a lot during the day so I can use it while I'm in the car or if I'm in the office. Um, it's just so easy to use. For over 15 years, Medela has provided moms with a portable solution for pumping breast milk. Pump and Style Advanced is a daily use double electric breast pump designed for moms who pump several times a day. The research-based two-phase expression technology mimics a baby's natural nursing pattern. The one-touch letdown button produces more milk in less time when pumping at maximum comfort vacuum in the expression phase. An adjustable speed and vacuum dial helps you choose the most comfortable setting for you. There are three attractive bag styles to choose from, and Pump and Style comes with everything you need to pump. The pump has allowed me to go back to work and run errands and be away from her, but to continue to provide her with um, the best nutrition possible. The pump is portable, it's discreet, it's easy to use, and as a new mother, those are all really good things that are really important to me. Portable and discreet, with research-based technology, Medela's Pump and Style Advanced Breast Pump helps you stay connected by providing what's best for your baby, even when you're not there. troubleshooting your pump. The S2 will function the same as the S1 pump. For demonstration purposes, I am going to troubleshoot the S1 pump. If your pump is not turning on, the first troubleshooting step you will want to look at is your power adapter. You will want to remove the prong piece from the power adapter. 
and then remove the cord from the pump. Next, you will want to push the power adapter on all the way down until you hear it click. Next, you will want to try replugging in your pump until you hear it click. Now, make sure the outlet on your wall is working and replug it into the wall. For your S2 pump, you will want to hold the power button down for 30 seconds. For your S1 pump, you will want to make sure that it stays charging for 4 hours and then hold down the power button for 30 seconds, releasing and seeing if your pump now turns on. After troubleshooting your power cord, if your pump still does not turn on, please contact us at SpectroBabyUSA.com for further warranty information. If your pump does turn on, but has no suction, you will want to make sure that your tubes are completely attached onto the ports, and for single pumping, your air cap is completely covering the second hole, or if you're double pumping, that both tubes are securely pressed onto the ports. You will then want to make sure that your backflow protector is assembled correctly. You will want to make sure that there's no tears in the valve membrane. You will want to make sure that the valve is pressed over the smaller casing, creating a tight seal, and that both casings are pressed firmly together. You will then want to make sure that your valves are properly placed on the bottom of the flange. This will create the suction. If these parts are missing, they will not create a suction onto your breast. You will want to make sure there is no holes in any of the air tubes, creating a loss of suction. Once you have double checked your tubing, your backflow protector, and your valve to make sure they are properly set up, Retry turning on your pump to see if you now have suction at the breast. If not, please contact us at SpectraBabyUSA.com for further warranty information and support. For troubleshooting your pump with low suction, make sure all your parts are assembled correctly, make sure there's no holes in the air tube, backflow protector membrane, or your duckbill valve, and that all your parts are firmly screwed on. Also, for low suction, make sure that your vacuum level is increased. If you are having trouble with your massage mode being set at 70, that is correct. It should not adjust up or down. Only in expression mode should your pump be able to change cycles. If you are experiencing pain while pumping, Check your breast shield size. Make sure that your nipples are not rubbing on the edge of the shield. Also, check to make sure the suction level is not too high. Try decreasing the suction strength to see if you have no pain. You should not experience pain while pumping if pumping properly.